All right, so welcome to the Primal Outdoors channel. Uh, today I just want to do a somewhat quick video on the uh, Silky Katana Boy 500. I just picked up this saw this week, so it's not really, I don't consider this a review. Basically, I'm just coming down here to kind of play with it, spend some time and see what I think of it. Um, but so far I've used it a little bit and I'm, I'm fairly impressed. I, I did a little cleanup on my trail coming down into my elk, elk hunting area and um, uh, really worked well. But uh, just to kind of go over real quick, if you haven't seen this saw, it's, based, it's, a, you know, it's made by Silky and it's a folding saw, but it's a fairly large one. It's got a 19 inch blade on it and uh, it's stainless steel. And I mean, these teeth I'm telling you are just razor, razor sharp. Uh, it's got a locking mechanism here that keeps the blade from folding down on you and it's got a lock on the lock that basically basically makes it so that the, you can't press the lock down so you can't inadvertently even when you're up high you can't push the um, lock mechanism down so you have to open that up that allows you to close the blade and you see it comes to a stop I can't push that in any further unless I again push the lock mechanism. Now if I was to hold the lock mechanism down through the whole cycle, it would go right past it. But the best way to do it is to push down, get it to release, start to push down, and when you get to that lock, then come up here and go ahead and make sure your fingers are completely out of the way and shut the blade because um, this blade will definitely cut your fingers horribly. Now, I personally first saw this saw on Survival Russia's channel, and um, when I saw him use it, I, I knew right away that I wanted one. So I looked online. Uh, they were rather expensive. Uh, most of the places I found were running around $200 for this saw, but I actually found that Walmart had a sale on them, and I was able to get it for just slightly over $100, like $116 or something like that. So I, I decided to go ahead and jump on it, and... Um, like I said, so far I'm really glad I did. It's, uh, I mean, this thing just burns through wood like crazy. And as far as like using this compared to a buck saw, um, a folding buck saw, this thing, in my opinion, is far better. Uh, I'm going to show you cutting some wood here with it in a minute. We're going to cut anywhere from um, some, you know, six-inch rounds to anywhere up to about 13-inch uh, rounds with this thing which would be almost impossible to do with a buck saw anyways. But um, this, thing, this thing is um, just very impressive. Uh, the only thing I won't be able to really kind of tell you, because like I said, this is really not a review because um, I just got it. But uh, we'll just have to see how it holds up over the winter as I use it uh, in my bush camps and stuff. But as of right now, I'm, I'm really happy with it. Uh, so... Anyhow, let's, uh, let's get some wood cut with it and see how she does. Okay, so what I've got here is a uh, log that's roughly about six inches. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and um, see how the saw cuts through it. Uh, this would be pretty much a typical log that I would use for, want to use for firewood in the wintertime. Uh, anything this size or even if I could find up to eight inches would be nice. So let's see how this thing cuts it. Now one thing I'd like to point out is this saw actually only cuts on the pull stroke, so you don't need to put a lot of effort into the push stroke. So, you know, not too bad. Uh, not, a lot, not a lot of effort. Uh, didn't really wear me out. Uh, so, uh, we, I could definitely just keep cutting rounds this size.
and uh, get all the firewood that I needed. So, anyways, let's try this out on some other other uh, size wood. All right, guys. So let's see how the Katana Boy does on this log. Now you can see this is a 19-inch blade on the Katana Boy. Uh, so this log is a fairly good size log and you know it's it is dead it's been here a little bit you know I feel like it's gonna be probably somewhat uh, punky on the inside so it should hopefully cut through pretty pretty quickly but again this would be a big log it would be impossible uh, pretty much I see to be able to cut through this with a buck saw um, you know you could eventually get through it with an axe but um, you know this like I said this log is every bit of uh, probably 12, 12 to 13 inches which uh, and with it laying on the ground you just wouldn't be able to get the angles with a buck saw to uh, be able to take this out but let's see how the katana boy does So it's starting to bind on me a little bit. So I'm gonna come from the bottom here. I was a little off of my cats, but uh, a little too far off of my cats. I can't lie to you that was still a lot of work uh, but I mean I'm telling you that would have been an absolute freaking nightmare to do with a uh, do with a buck saw so I'm impressed like I said 
this is so far I am super impressed well like I said we'll have to continue to see how it holds up over a long time but uh, at this point you know this thing is definitely going with me everywhere I go in the woods from now on as far as uh, when it comes to uh, having to process wood or any amounts of wood for sure so anyhow I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, we'll catch you in the next one